comedians who would be quite content if they could create just one new comedy character in their lifetime. But in his long and successful career, my first guest tonight has created literally dozens of them. And luckily for us, he's still creating them. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Emery. <laughs> Lovely to have you on the show. That's really nice of you. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. That's right, yeah. That's your bobber boy voice. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Actually, actually, I've got a job on the production line at Ford's. What's a bobber boy doing on the production line at Ford's? Putting the boot in. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, isn't it? <laughs> but you've got some other characters as well, you know. Oh, yes, the yes. Vicar. Oh, the vicar. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, he's, uh, the vicar is sort of uh, like all the vicars I've ever met in my life, you know. Ever so keen, ever so do-goody. <laughs> Actually, to me, he's uh, just an intellectual twit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a bit now? I will, as a good book says, give you a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have ever seen you in our church, have we? Uh, well, I don't think you have, actually. No. Which church is it? The Church of St. Beryl's mm -hmm. in Peckham High Street, mm -hmm. alongside the quick, clean laundrette, because, as everybody knows... Cleanliness is next to godliness. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I might make an announcement on behalf of the Young Mothers I'll Club. Be my guest. Very well. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> The Church of St. Beryl's Young Mothers Club is now meeting in the Nissen Hut, in the Nissen Hut at the back of the jam factory, every Thursday night, and we're desperately in need of new members. <laughs> so if any lady wishes to become a young mother, <laughs> would she please see me afterwards? <laughs> if you're quick, you can catch me by the cloisters. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. The old boy that you do, you know. Oh, Lampwick? Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody seems to like Lampwick. I don't know why, because he's a crusty old basket, really. You know? <laughs> I'll tell you what, what. Why don't we do a bit together, you know, me and Mr. Lampwick? Would you like to do that? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Look, stand by and wait for the Wonder Woman a right. bit, all right? I'll do the Wonder Woman. You ready? Right. right. One. <laughs> Hello, Mr. 
lovely the girl. I'm sorry if I seem a bit off, but uh, <laughs> I've, uh, I've just had a bit of a shock, you see. Oh, I hope it was nothing serious. Well, you see, my mate Sid, you yes. see, he snuffed it. Oh, what a shame. Yes. How did just that two weeks before his 93rd birthday. Oh, that's a real shame, that Yes. Is. You see, how it happened was, he was in his garden, you see, yes. throwing his young grandson, Jeremy, up in the air <laughs> when he went. Just like that. How old was his grandson? 63. <laughs> <laughs> I met the lad, but you had me on. <laughs> That's what the young bird said to me at the bus stop. Proper little darling she was. Yeah. Oh, yes, a proper little... I, I tell you, if I'd have been a few years younger or she'd been 60 years older... What uh, happened? What happened? Oh, 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 yes, what happened? Well, she, she, she had on one of these, these very tight skirts... Yeah. <laughs> ..with the buttons going up the back, you Oh, see. my... Oh, that... um, yes, yes, well, you, oh, the mind boggles. Anyway, the, the bus come along. When it come along, the platform was too high for to, her uh, to get on, you yeah. see. So I, uh, I, uh... I, uh, <laughs> I gave her a helping hand, I said. I bet you did. In a gentlemanly way, of course. Oh, of course. I kept my gloves yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, still she couldn't get on, you see, so uh, she... Uh, <laughs> she undid one of the buttons. Oh, my dear. <laughs> still no good. So she undid another. <laughs> then another. <laughs> then another. <laughs> and then she was undoing button after button after button, and finally she got on the bus. <laughs> and she turned around to me, she said, thank you very much. She said, that was getting most embarrassing. I said, you're telling me the last two buttons were mine. <laughs> Just a laugh, wait, you <laughs> are awful. But I like you. Here, watch it, smash your head in, doing things like that. What's the matter with you? <laughs> got carried away. Well, yes, I know. I tell you, Mr. Lambert, why don't we sing a song together? Would oh, you like that? That's to? a good idea, yes, but I mean, a youngster like you, I mean, I watch these youngsters on top of the pips or the pap paps or the pops. I mean, they're all filicky, aren't they? <gasps> there must be the move like they do. I tell you what, I'd like something a bit more dignified. Look, oh, yeah, why don't we sing the If You song? What's the If You song? You know, if you were the only girl in the world and I was the only boy. How about oh, that? that? Terrible. <laughs> you won't you hear me sing. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. If I were the only girl in the world, and I was the only boy, oh. Oh, nothing else would matter in the world today. <laughs> We would go on loving in the same old way. A garden of Eden, just made for two, <laughs> with nothing to mar our joy. You would. Oh, we would have such wonderful things to do if, if I, I were the only God in the world. Something no one else had ever found a way to do. I kept the memory one by one since you took me in. I know I'll never love this way again.
yesterday But I won't turn my head in sorrow If you should go away I'll stand here and remember Just how good it's been I know I'll never love this way again That march from Lohengrin I am always on the outside looking in Maybe that is why I see the funny side When I see a fallen brawler take her bride Weddings make a lot of people sad But if you're not the groom, it's not so bad Another bride, another June Another sunny honeymoon Another season, another reason For making whoopee For making whoopee a lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The groom is nervous, he answers twice. It's really killing, but he's so willing to make it whoopee. To make it whoopee. Picture a little love nest, down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest, think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes and baby's clothes. He's so ambitious, he even sews. But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, from making a rock For making a walk. Picture a little love nest down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest. Think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes and baby clothes. He's so ambitious, he even sews. But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, from making a walk For making a walk so don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks, for making whoopee.
to talk with all by myself no one to walk with but i'm happy on the shelf in this behavior i'm saving my love for you i know for certain the one i love i'm through with blood and it's just you i'm thinking of in this behavior i'm saving my love for you like jack harder in a corner don't go nowhere Don't stay out late, don't care to go. I'm home about it, just me and my radio. In this behavior, saving my love for you. No one to talk with, all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on a shelf. Mm -hmm. In this behavior, I know for certain the one I love. I do a flood, and it's just you I'm thinking of. recorded a country and western number then the only people who heard it would be country and western fans but along with people like Glenn Campbell my next guest changed all that because her country hits became huge pop hits as well hits like Snowbird, You Needed Me and Walk Right Back will you please welcome Anne Murray snowy mantle cold and clean the unborn grass lies waiting for its coat to turn to gray the snowbird sings a song he always sings and speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again in spring when i was young my heart was young then too and anything that it would tell me that's the thing that i would do but now I feel such emptiness within For the thing that I want most in life's the thing that I can't win Spread your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you wherever it came from on that day What I love forever is untrue And if I could you know that I would fly away with you to say that he'll only break my heart again should I decide to stay so little snowbird take me with you when you go to that land of gentle breezes where the peaceful waters flow spread your tiny wings and fly away and take the snow back with you where we came from on that day what I Could you know that I would fly away with you? Yeah, if I could, you know that I would fly away with you.
inside you I cannot get to where the secret lies Past those shadows in your eyes Where do you go in your dream? And is there someone with you? And what do you do? You don't do with me
too. Well, we've come to the moment which I really hate because not only are we almost at the end of a show, but we're at the end of a series. I'd just like to thank Dick Emery and Anne Murray and th my thanks to everybody who's helped make the series such fun. And all the guests, Arthur Greenslade and the orchestra and Ludovico Romano and all the dancers and all the people who worked so hard behind the scenes and of course to Stuart, my guru up there in the producer's box. <laughs> and most of all, I'd like to thank you for watching because as you know, it just wouldn't be the same without you. And that's got to be a new record for thank yous at the end of a series. <laughs> and talking about new records, I just happen to have one that sounds exactly like this. <laughs> Yeah.